Hi, Jeff Rogers here to talk to you about a special design feature of the CineGears wireless follow focus unit. As you know, all follow focus units eventually can develop some play for a variety of reasons. The design feature of this particular CineGears motor is that it allows you to adjust that play while you're out in the field. You just need two tools, a Torx screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver, and a coin. So here we go. You want a nice clean working environment to allow you to adjust that play and continue. Take the primary gear off, the external gear. Cinegear sells two motors by the way. You have the standard unit with a Japanese motor and then the high torque model with a German built motor. We're going to go through both of them because a uh, slight difference between the two. Then we take the uh, torque screwdriver and loosen off the six screws. Now for the uh, high torque motor it's the same uh, procedures, very straightforward. Six simple uh, Torx bolts and then we're inside. As long as you're careful not to remove the motor or uh, adjust any of the other components inside, your warranty will still be valid. With uh, the six bolts removed then it's uh, very straightforward to remove the cover. On the standard torque motor, there's three screws that have to be loosened off in order to be adjusted. So that's number one. That's number two. By pulling this cogged gear up, you can access the third Phillips screw, which is right there. Once you've uh, loosened off the three screws, then you apply some gentle pressure to pull the motor towards the cog, and then you just tighten and it's as simple as that. With the three screws um, now tightened again, you have adjusted the play on it and you just put the cover back together and you're good to go. This is the high torque version with the German motor. By disengaging this wire here allows you to pull this cover away from the main motor and gives you a better ability to make your adjustment. On the high torque uh, version, there's four screws instead of three. Two on the bottom here and here, and two on the side, here and here. You don't have to remove the screws, you just have to loosen them off. There we go. You can see the play there. And what you want to do is just gently apply a pinching pressure here to the motor, and then simply re-tighten the four screws. With the four screws reconnected, it's eliminated any play in the gear. One special thing to remember when you're making this adjustment is do not remove this motor and do not make any adjustments back here where there is an optical sensor. It's very delicate and sensitive and it will void the warranty if you have removed this motor or made any adjustments other than the adjustment of the play on the gear. When you're uh, replacing the cover, be sure to attach your, your wire first. Just watch carefully, the wire goes back in. Okay, and then the cover goes back on. Remember the two small screws go on the geared end of the casing. When you're retightening these uh, screws, don't over tighten them. If you do, not a big deal, you can reorder replacement parts from Cinegears. With all the six uh, Torx screws now in place, all you have to do to finish off the job is to reinstall the final gear. Beautifully made product with the added advantage of being able to adjust the play while you're in the field. I'm Jeff Rogers. I'll see you on set.